Uh, Senator Bennett, I have a question for you. Please step up to the mic. <laughs> Senator Bennett, we thank you for your strong, consistent, and historic leadership on immigration reform that goes all the way back to when you were a superintendent supporting ACID. You were supporting immigration reform before it became popular or the in thing to do, and we want you to know that we noticed, and we'd like to thank you. Now we'd like to ask you where your position is for citizenship for 11 million. Specifically, will you support legislation that creates a pathway to citizenship for 11 million undocumented immigrants that is not contingent upon proof of secure borders? You have four minutes to respond. Thank you. Let me first say that I would support that legislation, but that's not the legislation that I think we're going to be voting on. So let me explain that for a second. First of all, for a very long time, I supported a pathway to citizenship for the 11 million people that are here. And I want to thank Together Colorado. I want to thank the clergy that are here. But in particular, as the son of an immigrant myself to this country, and as the father of three little girls that I want to have grow up in a just democracy, in an economy that works for everybody, and in this nation of immigrants that we call home. I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for being out here today. I wish you could give yourselves a round of applause. I have not been this optimistic in 20 years that we're going to be able to create a pathway to citizenship in this country. And, it's, and my interest in this started when I was superintendent of the Denver Public Schools, and I saw the effects on families of the children in our school district that were ripped apart because of the broken immigration system that we had. I saw the effect on our ninth grade kids when they discovered for the first time that they weren't going to be able to have access to college in this country, and I saw them give up. That was one of the reasons I joined a handful of senators who wrote to the president and said, don't let Congress's dysfunction get in the way of solving the problem for them. And they responded with their deferred action uh, uh, letter so that our dreamers at least would know that for the moment they are safe from deportation. And it's the reason why I joined three other Democrats and four Republicans to create a set of principles that for the first time in a long time may lead us to a place of passing bipartisan, and it has to be bipartisan, legislation in the Senate that will then go to the House. I am leaving today at, in five minutes, and it is not out of disrespect. It is so that I can get on an airplane and fly back to Washington, D.C. tonight so I can have a meeting with those seven other senators tomorrow. We are starting our week off, as we have the past months, with this issue of comprehensive immigration reform. Thank you. <laughs> But what I, what I want to say is this, we will, there will be bumps in the road. This is not going to be easy. If it were easy, it would have been done a long time ago. There are going to be days when we feel like it's moving forward and days when we feel like it's moving back. There will be days when we think we're done with the work, only to discover that the next day that the work is still undone. And I can tell you this, in order for us to be successful, and to, in order for us to get this across the finish line with everything it means, for families in Colorado and all across this country, we are going to need you to stay engaged in the way you are engaged today uh, for the coming months. We've come much too far. Your voices have been heard for far too long for us to start to go backwards now. I can't tell you how much it means to me to know that together Colorado and all of you are supporting this effort on a Sunday afternoon, as I said earlier. But this is just the beginning and not the end. And I hope you'll let me know what you think about these principles and this legislation as we go forward so we can make it the best piece of legislation it can be. Thank you for having me today. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Senator Bennett, just to make sure that I understand your response correctly, you do support legislation to create a pathway to citizenship, but it is not contingent upon proof of secure borders. Am I correct? The, well, the, the way the principles are written right now, and again, these are bipartisan principles, which means that nobody gets everything that everybody wants. The way they're written right now is that there is a contingency on a secure border, but there is an acknowledgement, and this is very important, there is an acknowledgement that there has been a lot of work done, as was mentioned earlier, over the last 
four years. And a lot of that has resulted in deportations already, as you said, and a lot of it has, has resulted in the strengthening of the border. So we are not starting from ground zero in the conversation there. What's equally important to me as, as that issue, though, is to make sure that this pathway to citizenship is a real pathway. That it's not just putting something off into the future that we can't really depend on. And that's what you're going to have to keep your eye on in this legislation. The last thing, he's got his time's up sign up, but I feel like I can keep going because I got asked to come back to the microphone. The last, thing, <laughs> the last thing I'll say is this, and you need to be very attentive to this and, and be careful about this. There are people in the Congress who, there are people in the Congress who would live with the system that creates an, a perpetual underclass of people in this country without ever getting citizenship. Yeah. They'll allow them to work and break their backs in the United States, but they won't allow them to have a path to citizenship. We cannot allow that to happen to this country. Oh. Thank you. We thank you very much for your response. For our question that we are asking, we will take that as a no of right now, but we are eager to work with you in the near future, and thank you very much for that. Bienvenido a tu nuevo programa, Un Día Sin Fronteras, y podemos mejorar con Tim Painter and Willy Rooch. Team Painter and Willie Roach. <laughs>